This is Forget Me Not. It's out at the beginning of June and I really hope you're going to love it. It's got a brand new sparkly shiny cover. Isn't that beautiful? Um, and I'm going to tell you a bit about what it's about. This is Kate. She's the main character in this book and her mother died a few years ago and before her mum died Kate was quite outgoing. She was quite uh, feisty. She was quite a daredevil. She liked getting out and she had lots of friends. Um, and then her mum got really ill and died and Kate found it so traumatic that she hasn't really recovered from it and her friends have all gone away because they think she's boring now that she's no fun and she's miserable and she's she's quite depressed um, but she loves gardening because her grandfather uh, is sort of like her best friend he's moved in with the family and he teaches Kate everything to do with gardening and she gets a summer job so that she won't be bored over the summer holidays and she gets a summer job working at a garden centre where she can pretty much do what she loves which is working with plants and flowers and her mum used to be a florist so there's you know sort of nice memories for her there and while she's working there another boy turns up on a summer job and his name is Simon Simon very cute very cute uh, and Simon is a bit of bit of a mystery boy really. Ah. Kate isn't quite sure what to make of him. He seems to know quite a lot about gardening, he's quite confident but at the same time there's something that going on that she doesn't really understand. And then just as she's settling into work and she's thinking that perhaps Simon's going to be okay after all, there's this massive vandalism attack on the centre and uh, somebody comes in overnight and destroys all the plants and makes you know, a huge mess um, and the police are involved and it's all very traumatic. Um, and Kate obviously is very upset but she begins to suspect that maybe Simon, cute Simon, mysterious Simon, maybe he knows more than he's letting on and maybe actually he was involved in some way although she can't think why he would be. But I, that's as much as I'm going to tell you because you're going to have to read it for yourselves and I really hope you love it because I'm very fond of this book and uh, Kate is, I think, a really nice character and she deserves a bit of a break so I hope you love her too.